hello guys i welcome you all to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now let's solve this problem which says that the main at a wishes to to throw the two darts at the target at b so that they arrive at the same time so the time should remain the same if each dart is thrown with a speed of 10 meter per second determine the angle theta c and theta d at which they should be thrown and the time between each throw so we have to find the time difference between the each throw and we have to find theta c and theta d with which the dart is to be thrown and it is said that note that the first dart must be thrown at theta c which is greater than theta d then the second dart is thrown at theta d so first of all let's assume that the dart is thrown with some velocity uh, with uh, sorry with some angle theta so let's say that if we have this VA which is making some angle theta arbitrary angle theta so that dart will have two velocity components right so we will have the let's say if this is the the VA let's say if this is VA and this is making some angle theta so it will have two components it will have one component like this this will be v a x or we can say that v a x will be v a cos of theta and similarly this one will be the vertical component and this will be v a sine of theta so this component this is v x and this is let's say this is v a x and this is v a y so the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity again uh, we have to define our coordinate system so we can define our coordinate system at point a the origin will be at point a this will be our positive x this will be our positive y and the coordinates of point a will be zero zero since the coordinate system is located at point a so the origin is at point a so the initial coordinates of point a are zero zero so which which can we can say that the x naught and y naught the initial position of the dart is zero zero and now the final coordinates of the dart when it hits the target will be equal to 5 meters in the x and 0 meters in the y since point b is lying on the x-axis this is our positive x-axis so this will be 5 and 0 and these will be the final coordinates let's say this is uh, x and y now if we apply the the motion in the horizontal direction and we can say that the x direction motion the motion in the x direction that is the horizontal motion so this is our positive x direction so we can write that the distance traveled in the horizontal direction that will be x minus x naught this will be equal to v a x into t and plus 1 divided by 2 a x into t square but as we know that since this is a projectile motion and in the projectile motion the horizontal component of the velocity remains the same that is v a x that is v a cos of theta will remain the same so if the horizontal component of the velocity remains the same the acceleration in along the x direction is always equals to zero so this term is always equals to zero while considering the horizontal motion so this is equal to zero so now the final coordinate of the dart is um, the final x coordinate of the dart is 5 so we can write this is 5 minus 0 and this will be equal to v a uh, cos of theta into t now we know v a v a is 10 it is given this is 10 meter per second this is given so v a is 10 so 5 minus 0 is 5 so from this we can write that cos of theta into t is 5 divided by 10 and 5 divided by 10 is 1 divided by 2 or we can say that this is 0 0.5 so cos of theta into t the product is equal to 0 0.5 let's say this is or from this equation we can say that t is equal to 0 0.5 divided by cos of theta let's say this is equation 1 now let's consider the motion in the vertical direction that is in the y direction so we can write that this is y motion and this is the positive y direction again we can use that same equation panometric equation that is y minus y naught equal to 
v a y into t plus 1 divided by 2 a y into t square. So again the velocity in the positive y direction is decreasing. So if the velocity in the positive y direction is decreasing, the acceleration is uh, negative. That, that, that means that the, the dart is deaccelerating in the positive y direction. So this means that a y must be equals to minus g which is minus 9.81. And the final y coordinate of the dart is 0 and the initial y coordinate of the dart is 0. So y minus y is 0. So this will give us 0. And Vay is uh, 10. That is basically 10 sine of theta. So it's a, uh, Va sine of theta and Va is 10. So we can write this is 10 sine of theta into t plus 1 divided by 2 into minus 9.81 into t square. So 9.81 divided by 2 is 4.905. So this will give us minus 4.905 into t square. Now from this we can write that 10 sine of theta minus 4.905 into t into t. This is equal to 0. So from this equation we can say that uh, t cannot be equal to 0. This t cannot be equal to 0. Either this term could uh, can be equal to 0 or this t will be equal to 0. So t cannot be equal to 0. The dart must take some time. So we can say that this term is equal to 0. So we can say that 10 sine of theta minus 4.905 into t this is equal to 0 or we can say that minus 4.905 into t is equal to minus 10 sine of theta minus will cancel out so from this we can write that t is equal to 10 sine of theta divided by 4.905 and from equation 1 uh, we know that from equation 1 we know that t is 0 0.5 cos of theta divided by cos of theta so this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 divided by cos of theta so this is equal to 10 sine of theta divided by 4.905 so now if I multiply both sides of equation by cos of theta So this will cancel out and we will be left with 0 0.5 equals to let me split this 10 into the product of 5 into 2 so we can write this is 5 into 2 sine of theta cos of theta divided by 4.905 so 2 sine of theta cos of theta from trigonometry we know that this is equal to sine of 2 theta so we can write that uh, 0 0.5 let me cross multiply this and this so we will have 0 0.5 into 4.905 divided by 5 equals to sine of 2 theta so 0 0.5 into 4.905 divided by 5 this gives us uh, 0 0.4905 so we can say that sine of 2 theta equals to 0 0.4905 so this equation will give us two angles since the sine of the complementary uh, the sine of the supplementary angles is always uh, equal right so the sine of 150 and the sine of 130 will remain the same right so this will give us two answers so 2 theta from this we can say that 2 theta will be equal to sine inverse of 0 0.4905 so 2 theta is equal to sine inverse 0 0.4905 this gives us 29.373 this is 29.3 and the second answer will be 2 theta equals to 180 the sum of the supplementary angle is always equal to 180 so that will be 180 minus 29.373 
So 180 minus 29.373, this gives us 150. 150.632 theta and this is 2 theta. Now divide, if we divide both sides of the equation by 2, so 29.373 divided by 2, this gives us 14.69 degrees and 150.63 divided by 2, this gives us 75.32 so these two angles are uh, that theta c and theta d which are required right so theta c is greater than theta d in the problem statement is said that theta c is greater than theta d so this is so this angle is theta c and this is theta d since theta c is greater than theta d so this is theta c and this is theta d so now if the dart is thrown with an angle of 75.32 with the horizontal or if the dart is thrown with an angle of 14.69 degrees with the horizontal it will travel the same distance in the horizontal direction that is 5 meters for theta c t will be uh, in, we have this equation 0 0.5 divided by cos of theta right so for theta c the time will be 0 0.5 divided by cos of theta c which is 75.32 let's say for theta c time is tc and for theta d the time is t, td so that will be 0 0.5 divided by cos of theta d which is 14.69 so 0 0.5 divided by cos of 75.32 this gives us 1.973 seconds and theta d will give us 0 0.5 divided by cos of 14.69 this gives us 0 0.517 seconds now the time difference will be delta t will be tc minus td so that is 1.973 minus 0 0.517 so 1.973 minus 0 0.517 that is equal to 1.456 second so this is delta t so the second dot must be thrown after 1.456 sec seconds when the first dot is thrown so theta c is 75.32 theta d is 14.69 the time taken uh, by the dart which is thrown at an angle of 75.32 that is theta c is 1.973 and the time taken by the dart which is thrown at an angle of theta d is 0 0.517 seconds and the time difference between both the uh, dots leaving time is 1.456 seconds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also, subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hitler Dynamics.